So what is in an epidural? So we're actually going to take this part out and what I wanna find out or I wanna tell you guys about is what's actually in. Okay, so whenever we're doing an epidural, um, you have to remember that we are either using air and or saline inside of what we call a loss of resistance syringe. It's a really fancy way for saying, hey, we're double checking to make sure that we are in the right spot. And the way that we do that is we put first a numbing medication on the actual surface level of the skin. It's a really tiny needle. And so we give you local anesthetic or numbing medicine at that area in your lumbar, in your lower back. Once you have that, then that's when we place a little bit of a larger needle as you're going through your back, boom, 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 boom. As soon as we feel that loss of resistance, we know that we are in the right spot. Then we actually feed the catheter. So in feeding the catheter, once the catheter is inside of the back, this big piece of metal, okay, this big, um, actual needle, this goes away and goes out. And this is the only thing that stays inside your back. So don't worry, you can still move around because the epidural has nothing that's metal. What I do want you guys to remember though, is then afterwards we give local anesthetics and also a mixture of some pain medication sometimes. Okay. So again, you get local anesthetics and some pain medication. Most patients are really comfortable very quickly. It takes about 15 minutes for those medications to work in. So that's really it. And then don't forget, we have what's called a test dose. Test dose of medication is a little bit of local anesthetic lidocaine mixed with epinephrine. And the way, or the reason why we do that is to make sure that we are in the right spot. Now, if you want that right spot on your wrist to make sure that you don't get sick, all you gotta do, press here, three finger distance in between your first two tendons, or you can just go buy an homenage band for 10 bucks and it will help to stop you from getting sick while you have the epidural during your birthing experience and even if you have to go to a C-section. Thank you.